What's going on property hustlers? My name is Andrew and today I'm here with Fatima from PND Real Estate Group and we want to talk to you about when the best time to sell your property really is. The first thing that we're going to look at is that seasonally people sell their properties in the summer and generally speaking we recognize that in Ontario summer is the best time to sell. Now having four seasons it is generally accepted that winter is maybe not the best time and spring and fall about half these seasons can work out generally but most people are looking for homes in the summer. But these are not the only things, this isn't the be all end all as to what will affect whether or not you should sell your property. Which now brings us to the supply and demand factors which Fatima is going to dig into. Exactly, so it's like you said Andrew, it's not just about the seasons, it's really heavily impacted by supply and demand. One of the factors impacting supply and demand is location. If you really think about it, if you're one of the houses for sale in a highly desirable area, that does give you a lot of leverage as a seller because there's not a lot of comparables to look at and there's not a lot of supply. And essentially, if the demand is high, like we said, you're in a desirable location, then you're definitely going to get the price that you're looking for and maybe even exceed that. Another factor that plays largely into this is actually the property type. If you have a single family home, you're going to look at the combination of factors that are going to be affecting your property a little bit differently. For example, if you have a single family home, summer and seasons will obviously pay a big role because people typically don't want to move around when when uh, their kids are in school. So summertime would be the time for them to buy a place and make their move. But then if you're looking at a multi-residential property, which is heavily affected by the numbers alone, because investors are really only considering these things based on the numbers, or at least they should be. And so they are affected by these things in kind. So immigration, interest rates, those things will pay a bigger influence in terms of the demand of a property as opposed to the seasons. That brings us over to property conditions. So when we're talking about property condition, we're looking at the physical condition. So we'll it needs some work but we're also looking at are there tenants living there all of these factors will really play a huge role into when it comes time to sell because essentially let's say you have a single family buying a, a property that's tenanted they will definitely want a vacant property so that they can move in with their family exactly sometimes the timing here will really play a role so if you had just finished a renovation or if a tenant happens to be leaving as your only tenant a lot of homeowners will choose to sell the property in line with that because they don't want to have to re-tenant the property for another one year lease and then if they leave at the end of that lease you're landing in the winter months again so sometimes that timing will definitely play a role which now moves us on to the next thing which is interest rates now whenever interest rates drop it's definitely going to increase the demand it's either going to make people want to refinance their homes and maybe now purchase investment properties or it's now going to push people who previously couldn't afford the monthly carrying costs that now can into buying a property because they want to lock in for these good prime rates and generally speaking the interest rates is actually in my opinion one of the most powerful factors because it will affect all these things generally across the board the only thing it might not really affect immediately is the condos on the pre-construction side because you're not really getting a mortgage in that case you're just putting in uh, a payment to reserve your spot but you're, you're not getting a mortgage right now it might be two years down the road and then you have to look at interest rates at that time and then the next thing that we have here is the bylaw now bylaw is a very interesting one and it often has to do with with things like zoning and other regulations that come into play for example if you're looking at a multi-residential property and they've now changed the zoning to permit condominiumization of that property now that demand on the investor side of things will be going up because people will look at it and say I can buy these properties and develop it this also applies to single-family homes if a proper if a, a corner is now being zoned for high density and I know that not everybody's in that factor but when that happens it will definitely affect the demand of that property I know it happens to places and if you pay attention to it you'll be able to use that not just that I think something recently popular that came out was laneway housing. Laneway housing for anybody who had a big enough driveway or a big enough plot of land with a spot in the back where they can put either a coach house or something like that. Now people are looking and thinking I can buy this property and build something else on it which is obviously going to increase the demand. Yeah, and finally, we can talk about immigration. I know you touched on, on it a bit earlier on, Andrew, but immigration will play a big factor in, in supply and demand, mostly in demand, because when people are immigrating over to Canada, they're going to need a place to live. And so that'll impact the single family and the condo side of the um, of the properties because they're gonna want to move into a single family home or even a condo if they have a smaller family. And so immigration is not dependent of the seasons again. It depends on government immigration policies. Now, another thing that is actually really important to consider, especially for immigration, if you're doing pre-construction condos or pre-construction houses, 75% 
This was like, I think this was last year's statistic, but 75% of new build properties were actually primarily purchased by new immigrants. So there is a demand for that. And that's why pre-construction actually works very well, but there are only so many homes that are being built. So if you do have a property and you are looking to sell, that immigration is definitely gonna affect it. So to summarize again, it's not all about seasons. And just to use a real life example, right now we're in the winter. It's 2021 going on to 2022 and supply is extremely low. The inventory is low, which is making the demand extremely high and people are still looking to buy homes. Those who weren't able to break into the summer market are trying to break into the winter market now. And that's why it's really important to consider these key factors. So if you're thinking if now is the time to sell your home, just make sure to give me a call or send me a message and we'll talk about if now is the right time. Make sure to like and subscribe to our video and we'll see you next time.